The creative director of Supreme called out Kanye on Instagram. God damn, dude. What is happening here? This is like the dream of everyone on 2000 Omega shit, but in front of 100K people. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Tremaine Emery, the creative director of Supreme, speaks on Ye in his recent Instagram posts slash statements. I got to draw the line at, uh, at you using Virgil's death in your Ye is the victim campaign in front of your sycophant peanut algorithm gallery. Your best friend Virgil, and word please, this, la this time last year you said Virgil's designs are a disgrace to the black community in front of all your employees at Yeezy. Asked Lucette Holland, I got all the receipts. Don't let me get into the things you said about V after his death. Yay, tell the people you didn't why you didn't get invited to Virgil's actual funeral, the one before the public one at the museum. You knew Virgil had terminal cancer and you wrote on him in group chats at Yeezy interviews. You are so broken. Keep Virgil's name out of your fucking mouth. Keep Gabriella Gabriella KJ's name out of your mouth. You're not a victim. You're just an insecure narcissist that's dying for validation from the fashion world. Take care. At least we'll always have Uganda. Holy shit. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. Oh. I mean, you get on the White Lives Matter bullshit, you kind of deserve it. No, 100%. Absolutely. 100%. No, he, he's like, dude, there's trolling, there's being edgy, there's trying to make political statements, and then there is what Kanye West is doing, okay? And what Kanye West is doing is the absolute worst way you can go about it. Like, what's next? Are you going to fucking try to reclaim the, the swastika? You know what I mean? You're just straight up saying white lives matter is even somehow worse than all lives matter. You know what I mean? We all know what all lives matter means. All lives matter was a way to deflect away from black lives matter. Not only that, uh, but white lives matter was a white supremacist version of that. Okay. Straight up. Like the people that say white lives matter are just openly like saying, um, you know, fuck the, fuck the whole like black people thing. We don't give a shit. White lives are the ones that actually matter. Uh, and, and that like they're, they're, they're championing great replacement and, and white replacement, uh, sentiments. Okay. It doesn't get worse than that. Like that is the highest level of dog whistle, uh, that you can engage with. Now the issue is Kanye West also said BLM is done, whatever, you know, uh, all the shit he he uh, posted about it uh, on his Instagram. I I covered this part as well. I I talked about it on my uh, Twitter briefly. Don't be a sucker. Kanye West and everybody else that is talking about this is not a, or defending Kanye West is not talking about the BLM organization. Okay, he's not. There's a difference between like criticizing the BLM organization for uh, grifting. Okay. And, and quite literally saying, everyone knows that Black Lives Matter was a scam. Now it's over. You're welcome. No, that's bullshit. That's just bullshit. You're talking about a, you're talking about a whole movement. You're talking about people that died. You're talking about people that are in prison. You're talking about people that are, you know, out in the fucking streets. When you talk about the movement, okay? The organization, who gives a fuck? Most of the community organizers that are a part of the movement do not like the organization and despise it and have told people time and time again not to, not to donate to the BLM organization, that the BLM organization is not affiliated. The BLM organization is for well-intentioned or uh, white-guilted white people, okay? That's what it is. The BLM org in and of itself is just milking off of the movement itself. Okay?
And even if you had a, even if you had a, a, uh, a genuine take on the BLM organization coming out with a fucking white lives matter shirt is not an apt response at all. And yes, I, I recognize that I am not only white, but also Turkish on top of that, right? So I'm doubly removed, multiple layers fucking removed from this conversation in, in a meaningful way. But the reason why I talk about it is because I'm a political commentator and these are political movements and political organizations, okay? Anthony Fantano posted about it. Yeah, hold on. Um, how does being Turkish remove you more so? Because, like, I grew up in a country that did not participate in, in uh, chattel slavery. So, obviously, there are less black Turkish people out there. You know what I mean? There's less Afro-Turks, uh, a, a small minority in Turkey. It's not like a, a prescient part of Turkish culture. You know what I mean? That's where it come. That's why I'm saying like, I didn't grow up in a, in a country where white supremacist values were, or a, a fundamental part of societal development that, uh, that is baked into all of the institutions. You know what I mean? It's just not a thing, which is why, or, or did I say prescient? Sorry. <coughs> Prominent <coughs> is a better word. Is the word that I was thinking of. <coughs> and so that's what I mean it, it means that I am like uh I'm not even like absolving myself of anything. I'm just saying that like it shows that I know even less. And obviously I will never understand white supremacy and it's like genuine awful impact on individuals lives in the way that a black person will experience it and understand it. And Kanye West is a black person, obviously. Right. But what he's doing right now these moves are not Kanye West as a black person. These moves are Kanye West as a billionaire. These moves are Kanye West as a narcissist. These moves are Kanye West as uh, someone who is so, is, is treating concepts that actually harm his community, that harm his children, that make the future for his children worse overall as disposable. Like, this is a troll, right? This is just a troll. He's like, oh yeah, whatever. White lives matter. I'm always... I've always been a provocateur. I've always been a provocateur. Yeah, it's like, okay. But aligning yourself with Candace Owens and, and uh, you know, making White Lives Matter uh, merchandise and, and aligning yourself with the ideology that represents White Lives Matter, which is white supremacy, it, 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 doing it for whatever reason you're doing it, it doesn't change the reality that you're still doing it. I mean, this is like, as bad as the slavery was a choice thing, which you could try to interpret in a charitable way, and a lot of Kanye stands tried to interpret that in a charitable way, but the the White Lives Matter thing and the doubling down on it is the least vague way that you could, the most obvious, the most blunt way that you could say, this is my team. So graduation is bad now. I never said that. And uh, come on, that's not real. That's not going to, you know. Kanye West did this with the Confederate flag 10 years ago and admitted it was for attention. The Confederate. People forget he also wore the... I remember that. I remember when he did that. Kanye West has been doing this for a decade now. Basically, a minute for his attention. React how you want. Any energy you got is good energy. It's no coincidence. White Lives Matter is trending. And not Yeezy Season the 9. And the skeleton. 
but it was about the tour merch and the Confederate flags and the skeleton imagery and things like yeah. that. I mean, do you think people are overreacting with this? React how you want. Like I said. It's making them react, I any, guess, right? Any energy you got is good energy. You know, the Confederate flag represented slavery in a way. The way my, my abstract, I'm, that's my abstract take on what I know about it, right? So I made the song New Slaves. So I took the Confederate flag and made it my flag. It's my flag now. Now what you gonna do? <laughs> Ain't nothing finna happen. Like, when he took the Confederate flag and put it on a fucking bomber jacket, okay, when he did that and wore it, he didn't do that alongside, like, uh, I don't know, a fucking leader of the clan. Like, he didn't, he didn't go there with, like, a grand wizard and was like, these are my people now, okay? Like, that, it's, that in and of itself is, like, fucked up, too. I remember that. I remember at the time when he did that. Okay, but let's be honest, context, nuance, and the energy you put into certain things absolutely matter, right? And, and that's why Tremaine Emery uh, blasted off on him and said that Kanye West wasn't even... By the way, why is hip-hop and leak culture content Kirko, fo Kirko following me? I'm with it. I'm with the culture. Okay, that's how you know. Some context, Jermaine Emery is the founder of Denim Tears and the current creative director of Supreme. He was one of Ye's closest friends. For a long time, which is why this post is kind of wild. Um, just remember that anyone that calls themselves geniuses are definitely not. Like pushing the boundaries of art is something that I'm fond of, right? But when you move into political uh, territory, it's, it's a careful territory to move into. You're treating these concepts that are incredibly inflammatory, explosive, very serious ideologies that people hold close to their heart as though they are mere disposable talking points, as though it's just another pawn in your grand scheme, as though it's just another way to, you know, get eyeballs and get attention on your new merch. When your apparel speaks on its own, your fashion speaks on its own. And the idea that it's just like he's just trying to be provocative is so silly. Especially when, it, it, you know, people in this community completely know that there's more to it. C people in this community understand that there's more to it than just that because of his proximity to Candace Owens. A lot of Normans don't understand that. They're like, whatever, Kanye West, okay, maybe he's just trying to piss people off. Right. But when you go on your Instagram and say Black Lives Matter was a scam. OK. And then you turn around and you uh, fucking try to do the oh, I was just talking about the BLM uh, organization. This is not a fashion person. You speak on yay. I'm going to speak on you. Ask Trevor Noah. Gabriella Ke uh, Kifa Johnson. Kanye West broke the processor when computer can't read the code. This is a droid. You wish you had a percentage of her intellect. You have no idea, haha. -ha, if, there, if there's actually a point to any of your shit, she might be the only person that could have saved you. That could save you as if honor of being invited on uh, to your show should keep someone from giving their opinion. Lol, you're a bully and a joke. That's what Gigi Hadid said. Pretty dumb statement from Kanye, and I actually think he believes those far-right politics to some degree. No, he 100% does, dude. I, I, he does. He does. He does. He does. I think he meant the funds that Black Lives Matter were donating and such were a scam, maybe not the organization as a whole. Dude, dude, that's cowardly. That's bullshit. Okay? You're either too stupid to understand what you're doing, okay? And I don't think Kanye West is that stupid. Or... 
you're personally just a, a coward who doesn't want to say exactly what he means. The idea that like wearing White Lives Matter, White Lives Matter shirts, making White Lives Matter shirts and putting that as a part of your fucking new uh, line, okay? Like that's not, that's not just criticizing the BLM movement. That is just like exactly what, that is exactly what 4chan trolls do, right? He's behaving like he's a fucking groped up shouty. He, he is operating like uh, one of these fucking pasty little white kids on the internet that uh, can very easily uh, just switch in and out of subjects because they have no personal involvement with such subjects because they don't give a shit because they're white. They don't give a shit. They can talk about race and they can talk about anything they want. It doesn't impact them. Kanye West, on the other hand, is not white. He is black. His children are black. His community is black. People that he grew up with are black. I don't understand how you could be at fucking 45 years old and behave this way as though you're like a, like a 14-year-old on the internet trolling behind an anonymous account. Kanye's community is 100% white now. Stop playing. Dude, you're crazy. Uh, what? Come on, dude. There's still plenty of fucking come on, dude. No, it's not. He, his proximity now is more white than it ever has been, okay? He's like close proximity of sycophants, certainly. But let's be real. Like, no, he, he, his, his fan base is still not exclusively white. That's crazy. The irony here, of course, is that, you know, people will talk about like Dave Chappelle and stuff, right? Even fucking Dave Chappelle uh, shat on Candace Owens. You know how a black person can be a white supremacist? I can't make my mind on it even though money is a factor. Yes, I do know how. Candace Owens is a great example of this. And yes, it is money. Candace Owens, yeah. <laughs> His audience is not exclusively white. Unlike Candace Owens, Lamau. Yes, that is true. That is objectively correct. <laughs> Kanye West has a diverse audience. There are plenty of black people in his audience. That's crazy to say that, like, that's not the case, right? But, <laughs> but Candace Owens, on the other hand. Wait, what? Kanye fans finally feeling represented. <laughs> oh, come on. Even Dave Chappelle, he's super aware on race issues. No, Dave Chappelle is incredibly aware on race, race issues. Of course, Dave Chappelle is incredibly aware on it. That's like, I'm saying Dave Chappelle is very rich and very out of touch. But when it comes down to race issues, he is still the GOAT at describing uh, incredibly complex, often gruesome concepts such as white supremacy and the way that it impacts people's lives in a, in a humorous uh, way. I hate it when snarky people even left this online, act like mainstream hip-hop is consumed by just white people. Yeah, I know. It's just dumb. That's just a dumb take. You telling me she doesn't have some Italian POC support? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, let's see what Van had to say. And Van is great. I would actually... Um, he, he popped off, if you guys remember, this was back when I was at the Young Turks, and one of my friends was his producer at the time, actually, when, he was, when Van was at TMZ, he popped off at Kanye when he did the... When Kanye said that slavery was a choice thing, or slavery was a mindset thing. So let's hear what he has to say. He's obviously very... Uh, he's a very smart guy. I would actually have preferred that he actually meant this. So people, for people who say he don't, he doesn't mean this. I'd actually prefer that he does. I'd actually prefer that he's like, "Hey, I feel like we live in a world be where white people aren't getting enough attention." Because if if that's the case, he's just stupid. But if he's doing this purposefully 
to antagonize purposefully for attention, purposefully to troll black people, then Kanye West isn't stupid. He's evil. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much that's that's almost to a T exactly what I said. But but uh, I mean, very concise. Yeah. He either doesn't understand like the the political message that he's saying and it's very dumb or he's just straight up very carelessly. Like uh, aligning with white supremacists to make money. Mm. It's an evil thing to do for no reason on a Monday for niggas to have to wake up fucking mad and how much of it are we going to take? Mm. Yeah. Bro, isn't dummy just getting attention and money? Yeah, I mean, it's really fucked up, though. He wants to be edgy, but it helps literally nobody and people hate him more. Yeah, the problem is, like, there is a way to be edgy. I mean, I'm a fucking edgy boy, all right? I say edgy things all the fucking time. But my political perspective is honest. You know? It's, it's true to what I genuinely believe in. And I do think that ultimately it's the correct, the morally uh, correct take as well. Whereas he's just trying to be edgy with, like, concepts that are ironically directly harming him his children his community okay and he's doing it on the main stage like there's no reason why you have to there there is absolutely no fucking reason for for someone like Kanye was to ever be like yeah we're gonna take white supremacist slogans that were directly uh that were directly uh uh tailored to to uh, dilute the message of Black Lives Matter. A real, honest injustice that was being called out. And, uh, and, and you know, propagandize that. Do PR for it. Anyway, why do people even care about what Kanye says anymore? He's been doing stupid shit for many years now. This is the exact desperate attention he's looking for. I mean, dude, it's impossible to avoid when you are one of the largest artists on the fucking planet. Remember, he's also mentally unstable and is just looking for attention. The guy's so desperate for attention, he's acting like this. I know, but it's just like... Tyler's merch, good boundaries pushing... Part of the creator's attempt to subvert neo-Nazi propaganda for gay rights is admirable, but naive. Part of the creator's career has been fraught with controversy over his problematic lyrics. What if a black guy wore this logo on a shirt? Would he be promoting self-hate? Would he be taking the power out of a shape? What if a gay guy wore this on a shirt? Well, we now know a gay guy was wearing it on a shirt. Anyway, then bam, I had it. Throw a little rainbow on the logo and take a photo with a white guy. And we have an amazing photo. The thing that tops it off is the homoerotic tone of the handholding, which to some degree has to piss off the guys who take this logo serious. This made the photo even more important to me because it was me playing with the idea of taking power out of something so stupid. Not the first time Tyler and his odd future have appropriated Nazi icon iconography. They previously used swastikas in the promotions and famously referred to themselves as the black Nazis in Tyler 7. It it is, however, the first time Tyler has put any thought into why he employs the disturbing propaganda. And while it's still mostly for shock value, Tyler says there's a larger point. Ever since my career started, I've been labeled as a homophobe simply because of my use of the word F word. Again, trying to take power out of something. I was never referring to someone's sexual preference when using that word. I mean, I'm legit one of the least homophobic guys to walk this earth. But people just read the surface. Now, okay, this is, of course, uh, 2015. But, you know, he was writing on Tumblr. You should have known he was gay. You know what I mean? That's all I'm going to say. Nobody writes lengthy Tumblr posts and is a straight guy, okay? What the fuck what the fuck were you guys thinking? Also, uh, on top of the usage of the F word, okay? He's bisexual, but yes. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I meant like a gay as a catch-all. Uh, queer would be the appropriate term there.
Don't come to Tumblr. I don't want you to see my thirst posted by you. I don't even know how to operate Tumblr. I have no idea how it works. Kanye accidentally and unironically made a statement for class consciousness. Since his class has removed him so far from the black community, he's free to exploit white supremacy for profit without dealing with the emotional or material impact of such actions. Yeah. Getting real tired of the anti by bullshit on the stream. Biphobic again. Wait, what? You're not serious, right? Oh, okay. He said no. Lol. Anyway. We know you are only an enemy to the LGT. Yeah, no bees. B as in bald. The left wants you to ignore that Kanye West is the most prolific hip-hop artist of our generation because he thinks incorrectly. Bro, that's so funny. I mean, this kind of sh Is this who you want as your allies, man? Really? People who forget the top of the hour ad break at 12, so they run it at 12.30. Is that who you want as your allies? That guy? This guy who, like, recreated or didn't even have the... Didn't want to get killed, so he didn't truly recreate the George Floyd uh, execution. Man has never listened to rap music, okay? <laughs> Unironically, like a lot of racist people listen to rap music. Steven Crowder is too racist to listen to rap music, okay? That's, that's just the truth. Anyway, regardless though, uh, like I said, top of the hour, there was a 60 second ad break. I forgot to run it. I'm going to run it now. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Can't wait for Ben Shapiro to come out in defense of Kanye West, too, by the way. That's always so funny. <sighs> Glad Kendrick doesn't do this shit. What an actual icon. I mean, yeah, dude. Kendrick Lamar would never. The fuck? What are you, crazy? Um, You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Here's the one-minute ad break now. Crazy but cool. What is this? Well, Hassan does, but he's crazy. Yeah, Hassan is pretty crazy. A little crazy. Kind of cool, though, but... He is well, anyway... Well, Hassan does. Aw, that's nice. I am crazy, but cool. Thank you. Shapiro would wreck your soul. Oh, I wish. I would love for that to happen. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the way the left treats black conservatives is disgusting. Bro, what about the way you treat black people in general? Like, what the fuck do you mean? You would have loved going to high school with Crowder. He would have begged to be your friend. Probably. Why is he? <laughs> He's tweeting like a fucking rad lib too. The moment that there's like one black guy that he thinks is, is uh, one that he can use, tokenize, weaponize, immediately he fucking pulls up the tumblerina uh style posting he's tweeting like a fucking uh he's tweeting like a tender queer on their first ever uh on their first ever gender critical theory uh classroom like out of nowhere he's just like i don't know who needs to hear this but y'all ain't ready for that conversation the way the left treats black conservatives is disgusting <laughs> i read this in his black voice oh yeah chris tucker
Have you? And it shows sweaty. The left wants you to ignore that Kanye West. No one, no one wants you to ignore that Kanye West is the the most prolific rapper. Okay. Roll the clip. Yeah, I remember when he got his ass whooped. Remake of Saw, but it's Ben Shapiro and Steven Crowder in the cell together. Also, it's IRL. I like that. Never gets old. Rapper isn't accurate. Let's say producer or whatever. Rapper, producer, doesn't matter. He's Kanye West is gifted. He is very talented. A lot of his old stuff is incredible. It's just like, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's sad. It's just sad. There's nothing else I can say about this other than it's just sad uh, to see. Uh, Kanye West behaved this way. He's got nobody. He's got nobody in his corner. He's like, it seems like he's just like fucking pushed out everyone. Anyone and everyone that could have at a certain point. Anyone and everyone that could have at a certain point told him like, dude, what are you doing? Like, we've been here since day one. Please stop behaving this way. Right? Uh, they have decided. I mean, he's like cast aside. He just has a, a bunch of yes men and a bunch of like old Equally out of touch, if not more out of touch, rich white dudes around him now. Hey, all you got to do is go out there and rap. Oh, Don't say nothing about no groups, just rap. You know, yeah, just you know perform. Me. Performing songs? Come on up. Family friendly, man. All right, man. Hey, good luck. Good luck. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, I'm sorry, man. I got to get something off my chest. This man has been sitting right with you. I don't fuck with bloods, I don't fuck with cricks, I don't fuck with kids, I don't fuck with white people, I don't fuck with black people, and I definitely don't fuck with uh, no, no. the LGBT. Man, none of that, nigga, bro. It's just me out here, man. Y'all feel me? Is it just y'all out there? Well, let's go ahead and swap this channel up to here, man. I don't fuck with none of that. I don't fuck with none of that. Hey, y'all have y'all a good night, man. Hey, how I do, bro? How I do? You do the performance. I don't gotta perform, but listen to the crowd, bro. They rocking and they love me. You're canceled, nigga. You canceled. How am I canceled? Why the fuck? Okay. This is Do you think Kanye would evolve to wear a shirt that says Pete Davidson Lives Matter? Okay, dude. I mean, that would have been funnier. At least it wouldn't be like directly just like a white supremacist slogan. Uh, Kendrick or Kanye, you have to pick. Is it Kendrick? Obviously. Um... All right, that's that's about it for the Kanye West thing. Okay, I think we talked about it enough. Um, before we get to the XUC stuff, here is uh, Bill Burr having some really interesting takes. One of Bill Burr's right-wing fans sends him an angry message asking him why he talked favorably about socialism in one of his shows. Here is his response. Uh, socialism. Hi, Bill, you redheaded fuck. <laughs> I really appreciate the bluntness of that. How, how are you? Um, last week you mentioned... Uh, you don't know why people demonize socialism. Um, I was really taken aback at that statement. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every country that has tried socialism has failed. And it's responsible for tens of millions of deaths. All right. So would you say capitalism is working? And is, it is not, uh, you know, when like, what is it? Like 99% of the wealth is in like fucking 2% of the people's hands. All of these tent cities, you're telling me this is working? You don't think capitalism is responsible for tens of millions of deaths? Um, anyway, Russia, Germany, China, Cuba, and most recently, Venezuela have tried, or right now, are socialist countries. Um, as far as I know, whatever... 
<laughs> Socialism. Venezuela, 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 Venezuela. Immediately hitting the, the Vuvuzela, Cuba dude. Cuba was trying to do, we prevented them from doing with a fucking embargo or whatever the hell we did. We've been fucking with them for 60 years. So I think you're looking at like, you know, like what a lot of oh people my do is God. you look at your own country. How can you not love this man, dude? How can you fucking not love this man? His take on Cuba, his take on fucking Cuba straight up is better than 99% of people involved in American politics, okay? Just immediately, immediately dropping a stack on the fucking embargo. Holy shit. I'll just, I'll tell you right now, it's because I steal his takes, okay? You guys might be thinking like, oh man, Bill Burr sure is saying a lot of stuff that I've heard you say. It's because I just stole his takes verbatim. <laughs> through rose-colored glasses the same way you look at your own sports team like oh my team doesn't cheat but your team does bill then talks about the murders and destructive nature of u.s imperialism then continues to read the letter from the angry right winger pointing really, out that he you're really sort of looking the other way with what capitalism has done to other countries um all the sweatshop labor, all the wars we've fought in over air quote freedom, where most of it is about, you know, natural resources, all of these fucking countries where we've gone in and, you know, stuck in heads of the government that are going to do what we want to do so we can fucking take advantage of them. Like, I mean, to sit there and look at capitalism like, like it's, you know, I don't know, dude. All right, I took off my Bergen stocks. I'm going to read, read the rest of this here. Okay, socialism all starts the same way. Create a boogeyman like corporations, the rich, or a race. Oh, yeah, we've never done that in the, this country. We've never created a boogeyman. <laughs> we, yeah, there's never, I mean, Jesus Christ, buddy. Blame them for all your problems. Yeah, we never did that. The leaders then promised to fix all the problems. Oh, boy. Slowly, the government starts to control every aspect of your life. Why does this sound so familiar? Promise that every... I mean, aren't they, like, recording all our phone conversations now? Uh, we're slowly on our way to getting microchipped. Uh, promise that everybody will have the same e equity and outcome. This creates mediocrity, loss of the middle class. Loss of the middle class? Where have I seen that before? Uh, of innovation, uh, punish your, you know, corporations are buying houses now. They're just buying them up so they can fucking Airbnb. Like the, literally the American dream, buying a house. They're going to take that away in this country. Uh, that reduces the tax money coming out into the government. Buddy, I can't fucking read all of this horse shit. This is everything that we're doing too. Capitalism. Okay, I'll get to the end here. Capitalism. Now, you know what? Let's just read all of this because it's fucking hilarious that he's acting like none of this is happening in this country. Um... Uh, and you know what's funny about people? You don't like it. Get the fuck out of here. This is my favorite thing ever. Yet you can look at your sports team and be like, what the fuck is this coach doing? And then nobody goes like, you don't go fucking root for somebody else. No, I'm criticizing it because I love it and I want it to win. Oh, my God. That's such a good analogy. Oh, every part of this is so good. It's like perfectly tailored. To get dumbasses that completely understand the take in the most clear and concise way. Oh, uh, so in the country. Oh, yeah, that hasn't happened. Wilbur finishes reading the letters. He keeps pointing out how everything right winger says socialism will do to the U.S. has already been done by capitalism. Then ends the great summary of how capitalist propaganda system is manufactured. Punish the rich, which eventually leads to them leaving the country. Oh, yeah, that hasn't happened. That hasn't happened. Yeah, the rich haven't, like, you know, their money leaves the country and then comes back in the form of an interest-free loan that is then forgiven. Jesus, buddy, come on. The richest people usually employ the most of the population. Oh, boy. Disarm the citizens so that they can't cannot revolt. Control the media, like promoting the government. Control the media? There's two guys that own the media, Ted Turner and fucking uh, that other guy there, the guy from Fox News. Um, that's why we're Hatfields Murdoch. and McCoys right now. Disarm the citizens so they cannot revolt. Control the media like promoting the government agenda with propaganda, then censorship of all their other ideas. Yeah, creating areas where you can only protest, which are down. Dude, 
Piping dimes. No bad feelings, but can you answer my question? Obviously, I'm new here, but I thought you were a socialist. Explain all the millions you don't give back to you and your followers. Don't ban me for a question. Might have been approached this way, but I'm dumbfounded. The least, like, uh, just, just a, honestly, just curious, uh, Andy. Just the least, like, inquisitive, just curious, Andy. Bro, I don't know if you know this, but, like, Notice how you haven't given me a single fucking dime, but you and I can have a one-to-one -one conversation. Okay? Let me describe it to you this way. There's a lot of other people who see that and see value in that and decide, hey, I can watch this for free or I can give $5 a month to this guy because I like what he's doing and I think he, he, has, a, he has a good role in society. I think he's educational content. He's creating educational content. He's doing it in an entertaining way. Okay? And I'm going to give him $5 a month, especially at the top of the hour when there's a 60-second app break. Okay? Or I'm going to use my Twitch Prime that I already have because I have an Amazon Prime account that I connected to my Twitch account, and I'm going to use that on him. Typical word salad, no answer. How are you a socialist? Millions not giving back to the pool. First and foremost... I do give back, okay? But you understand that socialism doesn't mean you don't get compensated for your labor. Well, you don't understand that. You don't really understand anything. It's not word salad when I'm describing to you why you are in the wrong, okay? The way this works is you give me money if you want to. If you don't want to, you can stay in here and be a fucking absolute idiot on your sock account. But if you want to, you can. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Team kills one. Allowing 10 people to no longer see the ads. Here's the woman ad break now, by the way. It's not word salad. If you personally don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, Hassan, fuck you and I hate you and I wish you would die. Just a curious new viewer. <laughs> I hope this was at least a little bit more informative for you. Moon Sanum, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. So you're saying that those that don't give you money are fucking idiots? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, this guy's a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot for a different reason. You're a fucking idiot because you came in here and you thought, I'm going to interpret what you're saying in not even a least charitable way, actually. I'm just going to say something entirely different than what you actually just said. Like, some of you motherfuckers distort language in a way that is so unique and so creative. If you would use that creativity for anything else, okay, for anything else, you would be living a way more fulfilling life. Damn, the first time you see my comment is a troll one. Yeah, stop trolling while I'm already uh, popping off on a chatter. If socialism was conducted through charity, Jeff Bezos would be the biggest socialist on the fucking planet. Not a single one of you, I hope, is stupid enough to genuinely think that, right? Jeff Bezos gives way back, gives back way more than I ever could. Does that make him the best socialist? No? Well, then shut the fuck up. Now, of course, I give plenty. But that's not socialism. And it's certainly not socialism when you turn around and you're like, man, socialism is when Hassan gives me money for watching his content. The percentage you give back, not how much. I mean, yeah, I, I own Jeff on that for sure. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you don't virtue signal and post all your donations, it doesn't exist. No, because I, I do. We do post the donations. Because people have yelled at me so much that I do post some of the donations. And it doesn't matter because you never hear motherfuckers who are in here being like, socialism is when charity. Why aren't you doing charity? You never see those motherfuckers ever go, oh, you know what? I was wrong, actually. You have given a lot of money. You have raised a lot of money. You've paid a lot of money out of your pocket as well to all of these causes that you speak on. Because they don't care. The fundamentals of that line of questioning is already completely false. 
That's not how that works. But even on top of that, even, even by the metrics that they have created for socialism, I'm still owning their ass. Okay? Isn't the streamer socialist? Socialism, folks. Obviously new here. I hope you can understand piping dimes with your American flag PFP. I don't expect you to, but maybe you will. Socialism is not when you're poor. That's not how this works. And if you're a leftist and you legitimately think that way, well, I don't know what to tell you. You're dumb and you've been caught up in, in the idiotic right-wing framing on socialism. Hasanabe Industries, thank you for the 100 gifted subs. Pickled Comrade, thank you for the 5 gifted subs. Yeah. Look at that. My own, my own fan accounts. Because I don't even have a, any sort of like interest in protecting my IP and have released it. So not only can you see it for free, you can literally watch it on other channels on YouTube. They come back in here and they give me 100 subs. That's crazy. That's crazy. He just did that voluntarily on his own. Oh, no. I'm becoming less socialist by the second. One day, I hope we will look back. One day, I hope we will look back at how fucking insane this shit was. That, like, people were mad at me saying I'm not a fucking real anti-capitalist as a consequence of people voluntarily giving me money. I should have been like, hey, dude, don't do that. For the eight to ten hours of content that I put out there every fucking day. Content that you could get for fucking free everywhere on the internet. Not even directly giving me ad revenue in that circumstance, but giving ad revenue to other fan accounts. Also, I totally forgot to run the top of the hour ad break, I think. After doing that whole, like, at the top of the hour, there's a six-second ad break. Oh, no, I did. I ran it. Never mind. E. Bridget, thank you for the five get the subs. Pug Daddy, thank you for the five get the subs. Pickled Comrade, thank you for the five get the subs. Anyway, we got derailed again because Bill Burr was popping off on social media. Around the corner, away from the, uh, the fucking media. Yeah, okay. Eventually, all rights are taken away. Dissenters, journalists, and politicians' oppositions are jailed or executed. Eventually, the leaders will be, uh, become exactly what they originally campaigned against. Jesus Christ, buddy. I, I, I've, I've forgotten what you're... He goes, there's much more to it on an economic level, but as a fellow moron, it's too complicated for me to understand. All right. I am also a fellow moron, but dude, all of that shit has happened. The nines, thank you if for the If you look at all the stuff. rights and everything that you have lost in the last fucking 20 years, um, I don't even know. I don't even begin in, in creating a boogeyman and racism, genocide, every, we, all of that shit. We've done all of that. We've done all of that. You know, when I was a kid, there was rules on media ownership. No one person could own any seven. It was rules of seven. No one person can own seven radio stations, newspapers, TV stations, blah, 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 in, in one market because they knew if you control, if you owned all of that, if you control the media, you control thought. And yet they've let Ted Turner and that fucking, uh, uh, I want to say Ralph Navid, Rupert Murdoch, do exactly that and present CNN and Fox News have the fucking balls to present the people that are on TV as journalists and then also acting as though you're watching news. You're not. You're watching propaganda. God damn, dude. That's fucking... That's... I don't know what to say about that. Dude, I want Bill Burr. I want Bill Burr Socialism. so bad. I, Bill, you redheaded... I want him to be on the uh, on the show so bad. I 
I want it so bad, dude. We got so close when he one time, like, I, I asked Ethan, but um, I, that really didn't go anywhere. I want him so bad. I hear Ethan has been, didn't he go on H3 a couple times? Here, blast this, juice it, boys. Let's see if it, uh, let's see if it makes some waves at least. God, he's so, what a fucking legend, dude. PFT is a way better in. Um. On. I'm doing some stuff here. One second. Duel or Bill Burr on the broadcast? You can only have one who you choose in. Oh, uh, Bill Burr. Not even a question. Are you kidding me? That's not even a that's not even a joke. Like that's not even remotely controversial for me. Uh that's Eat Co Lull. Thank you for the five gifted. No, not on Fear and. I, I mean I if he's more familiar with the podcasting format and wants to do it on Fear and, that's fine. I'd be down to do that as well. But there I, I think the the a better conversation could be had if it's just on this broadcast instead of the podcast because the podcast is like not political you know what i mean bill burr or obama bill burr oh kind of was at a new post about tremaine let's remember supreme is owned by louis vuitton in war they will send your own people at you good one bernard In war, they will send your own people at you, good one, Bernard. There is not, there, there is no one. Bill Burr is my number one guest. I know he shit on Ethan. I know, I know. I, I, I remember. I remember uh, seeing the memes and stuff back then when he went on. I think... Ethan Klein and Bill Burr would have a significantly better podcast now if they did, like, if we did, like, a leftover style. One. Bluntness of that. How, how are you? Wait, is this the whole thing? And like, you know, their money leaves the country and then comes. Bill Burr, and I'm saying this one more time. Bill Burr is my number one guest. More than Chomsky, more than Bernie Sanders even. He is my number one guest, Okay. No, over Bill Burr, over Dua Lipa every day. What about Trump? Trump is the only person that I would like possibly consider over Bill Burr as a guest. But... I think, yeah, probably Trump. I, I would have to go with Trump in that situation, but that's it. More than Joe Rogan? Fuck yes, more than Joe Rogan. Absolutely. What about Karl Marx? What about Karl Marx? Yeah, okay. Uh... comes back in the form of an interest-free loan that is then forgiven. For somebody else. I'm leaving the Wait, did become we watch exactly the what they originally campaigned against. Jesus Christ, buddy. I, I, I've, I've forgotten. Oh, we did. We watched the entire thing. It's from 2021. I know. It's an old uh, clip that got resurfaced through uh, Zay, through Squirrel. 
Gilbert is really protective about his private life. That's why he got really defensive when Ethan started asking personal questions. Yeah, I mean, I will never ask him personal questions. Wall Street Journal has released the article. Chess.com has released an article on uh, the Grandmaster likely cheating more than 100 times. Holy fuck. An internal report reviews of the Wall Street Journal agree, alleges a previously unknown pattern of likely widespread cheating by Hans Moke Neiman, the player whose September victory over Magnus Carlsen has rocked the chess world. <laughs> 